and Kidney fans, this is Ruth Apollonia, and I am starting a new series called Apollonia's Adventures, and I wanted just to give you a little um, background of why I'm doing this. So during the Year of Mercy, um, that was a few years ago, the diocese that I live, I live in, Springfield, Cape Girardeau, um, had several holy doors. Um, throughout the, the entire diocese because it stretches from the eastern border um, of Missouri to the western border of Missouri in the south. So it's, um, it's very, very large um, with the distance that it covers. So anyway, they had put this challenge out there of, um, you know, to, to travel to the holy doors and there were stamps at each holy door and you could stamp this thing and then you could, um, when you got all finished, you could turn it into the diocese and they'd send you a certificate. So I, I did all that and um, I was telling a lady at church and she asked me if I had taken pictures of the holy doors and I was like, oh, no. And she said, oh, well, I would have liked to have seen them. I couldn't go myself. And it just made me feel like really bad because I, I could have taken the, the pictures for her to show her. I just didn't. I just didn't think about it. So because of that, I have purchased a video camera and this is what it looks like. Um, it is a 4K um, I got it off of Amazon, and anyway, so I've been playing with it a little bit, and I, I don't quite have down all the features yet, but I took some video over this past um, 4th of July weekend, and I was going to these places anyway, so I was like, might as well take some, some footage of it to share it. Um, forgot several times to turn on the little microphone here. There's a little on off switch. And because of that, a lot of the, what I was saying in the video, it didn't pick it up very well. So I'm going to be voicing over those parts. And then there are some parts where the color looks a little bit off. It looks kind of bluish or just like a darker color. I think I might've accidentally turned on my, my IR, um, light the the infrared but i'm not certain um anyway there's a whole bunch of different features on here and i'm still trying to learn it but here you go <laughs> so i went to lynn missouri uh, my cousin lives there and i was going there anyway and lynn is kind of known it's basically known for two things one is lynn tech and then the, the other thing is for this small town being really long. So we filmed it to see how long it really is. Um, and then my cousin actually has some kittens that she's trying to find a good home for. So I filmed them because they're just so cute. Um, and if you are interested in the kittens, contact me through my website and I will let her know. And then I went to Anderson Equestrian Center that is outside of Columbia. Again, I was going there anyway, so I brought my video camera along. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoy it. So in this clip, I was introducing you guys to Lynn, Missouri, and then I also wanted to show you who all was um, with me in the car. This is my brother's car, and so, so this is Jeff, my brother, and then my aunt was sitting in the back. I was trying to find her. Again, not used to the camera, and there she is, and that's my Aunt Eva. Okay, this is Lynn, Missouri, known as the longest small town. And 
and we're stopping at break time. Okay, so we're pulling out of the gas station and we're gonna get back on 50. So Lynn is on 50. is 2.2 miles long and I think the population was like 1459 okay so 1459 people So once again, I forgot to turn my microphone on. So anyway, I was just introducing uh, Anderson Equestrian Center, saying that it is in Boone County, and this is their mailbox. So if you are on Highway WW, you can look for that. This is what the barn looks like from a distance. Here it is up close. And the ring that is next to it. And then a little bit more of the land that is surrounding it. And then here is an up close of inside the barn. So they have several stalls and they actually board horses there as well. Sound is on. The sound is on. Okay, what would you like to say about Anderson Equestrian Center? Dot com. AndersonEquestrian.com. Okay, AndersonEquestrian.com. Yes. What one, do you offer? We're one of three certified riding instructors in the entire state of Missouri. Our, uh, my wife, the instructor, she's also a Master's of Education, and she's been teaching, she's been working with horses since she was old enough to walk. And the youngest we've ever taught is three, the oldest we've taught is 76. And yes, he did get up there on the horse. 
except for the days he was tired, and we gave him a driving cart lesson on our little tin hand pony. No laughing, you're shaking the camera. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, uh, yeah, we're just outside, we're just west of Columbia, a mile outside of town. So we're really easy to get to. And in Boone can, County? In Boone County. And we can... WW? Near Columbia, Missouri. WW. And we can teach anybody that wants to learn anything with horses except for jumping. We basically don't do jumping because once you leave the ground, you don't have any more control until you hit the ground. Okay. So this big guy is Captain America. He is a Belgian horse. Uh, he is in his upper 20s. Um, he's so old his teeth have stopped growing. He weighs about 2,300 pounds. And he is actually retired from the Amish. This is his vacation home. He has scars on his neck on both sides from the plow collar that he had to wear all the time. Um, but he is just so friendly. You can see how he just came right up to me. And so he is a beginner horse. They put everybody on him. So in the next stall, we have Iron Man and Thor. Iron Man is kind of hard to see because he is in the shadows there, but he is a four-year-old Nigerian dwarf goat who thinks he's a dog. <laughs> uh, you can see his ear there, and there is his head. He's about two feet tall, and then in there is also Thor. He is a pony of America. He is about 13 years old. He is 10 hands uh, tall, and a hand is about 4 inches. Um, he is worth his weight in gold. He, is in, he gets along awesome with people, but he is very ornery to other horses. Thor is used to pull a cart for driving lessons, and he also gives riding lessons for the younger kids. And both Thor and Iron Man have been taken to the nursing home and used as therapy animals, um, and they've gone there twice. And when they do so, Iron Man has to wear a diaper. 